In this video, I'm going to show you how to use CSS padding bottom to apply padding to the bottom of elements in your HTML, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's check out the screen capture where I show you how to apply margin bottom using your CSS. Let's head over there right now. I'll see you there. On the left hand side of the screen here, we have a simple HTML page marked up. On the right hand side, we see what this page looks like in a browser. And I want to add padding to the bottom of the green box. Now it's going to be hard to tell, the box will grow in size so we can tell that we're adding padding that way. But normally if, if, uh, if this uh, text element was reaching the bottom of the box and it was too close, that's when padding would be really helpful. So if you wanted to add white space below the green box, you'd use margins to separate the elements. The padding applies space within the element. So all we have to do is hop into the selector for the green box, which is box 2, type in padding dash bottom colon and then the number of pixels we want to add we're going to add 200 so we can really see the effect we save this page refresh the page and we see that this green box grows a lot it grew by 200 pixels in fact and that added padding to the bottom of this element and it pushes the bottom of the box down and there's another way you can accomplish this and that is by doing just the padding property and typing in 0 for the top, 0 for the right, 200 pixels for the bottom, and 0 for the left. We save this file, refresh the page, and nothing changes because this is the exact same thing. We're adding padding to the bottom. And that's how easy it is to apply padding bottom. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you notify when I publish more awesome tutorials. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side so you can learn some more stuff. And until next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.